We start your news at 10 with National Consumer Protection Week and we're warning you and the officials are warning you to watch out for scams and how to take some action. Now near size, Caitlin Richards is in studio after talking with some experts. So Caitlin, what are they saying to people? Courtney, it's becoming more common and easier for companies to collect personal information for no reason, which can lead to security threats. As this is a growing concern, here are some things to know. Uh, robo texts are definitely something we've seen, seen be on the rise as regulators have cracked down a little bit on robo calls. A lot of those scammers have moved over to text. Um, and definitely it's good to keep an eye out for any text list that you don't remember opting into. Katie Craig is the state director for North Carolina Public Interest Research Group. Craig says they're educating consumers about different types of scams and how to take action. Mm -hmm. Meredith Radford with Better Business yeah. Bureau says consumers submitted more than 450 reports to Scam Tracker and ENC, losing roughly $150,000 in 2022 due to scams. In 2022, we saw over 10,200 complaints to our scam tracker in our area. Um, and on average, we were able to open and close those complaints in around 15 days. Craig and Radford both say online scams are a major concern. We are seeing that these scams have evolved and changed. So as some scams may go down, others may be on the rise. Um, and specifically, as we're looking at online data and privacy, that is for sure a, a rising concern. Bradford says there's not a lot of regulation for online shopping, so it's easy to fall victim to fake websites or fake companies. More than 50% of scam of ads online are scams. So you just have to be really careful and have a critical eye, unfortunately, to things and make sure that you aren't just taking stuff at face value. You kind of have to be your own guardian. If receiving a message about banking, call your bank directly. For more information and steps to take, we have that link posted on our website at WNCT.com. In studio, Caitlin Richards, 9 on your side.